Okay, so here we're on 9.3 on continuity. So this is, again, continuity, continuity properties, and solving inequalities using continuity properties. So continuity, a function is continuous over an interval if its graph over the interval can be drawn without removing a pen from the paper. So basically, you put your pen down, follow it, and if you can go the whole way from left to right without lifting your pen, it's continuous. Now, it's discontinuous if it's broken, and so it's disconnected. And so if it's discontinuous at x equals c, then you have to lift your pin at x equals c and then put it back down after that, and then can continue on. So that would be a, a disconnected. So if we're looking at the graphs down here, uh, in A, we have a graph that is continuous for all x because no matter where we start here on the left and go all the way across, we can keep our pin down and we have... a uh, function that works that's continuous now in the next one we go through and we can go through and go through but at this point here with the open circle we're gonna have to lift our pin up and then put it back down on the other side and then continue on so it's discontinuous and it's discontinuous at the x equals two okay so it's continuous everywhere else but at the x equals two and on the next one we have uh, kind of a uh, multi-piece graph. We have the bottom part down here, then we have to lift our pin up, and then we can go back up here and go over here. So it's discontinuous at the x equals zero, but it's continuous everywhere else except for that x equals zero. So basically, if we look down here, this one here, the limit of f of x is equal to four as x approaches two, because that's what we're looking for. Now here, the limit of g of x is equal to four as x approaches two also, because again, this way we're approaching from left, it's equal to two. We approach uh, two from this direction from the right, and both of them equal four. Now, same thing happens here. As we approach from the left side, we approach four, and as we approach from the right side, it also is equal to four. But now notice on this one, this one, the limit doesn't exist. And that's because as we go here, it equals negative one. As we approach from the left, equals a positive one. As we approach from the right, those are not equal. So therefore, the limit doesn't exist. Now, does the actual point exist? Well, yes, the point exists here because f of two is equal to four because it was continuous. Here, it's not defined because we have the open circle. So that was where it's discontinuous. So we have to do that jump. And again, it's not defined here because we have that jump as well. So those are kind of things we're looking at in, in this section here. So uh, most natural phenomenon are actually continuous functions. There's usually not a jump. And so as we can see here, the temperature uh, after so many hours after midnight, you can hold your pen down and you can follow the whole way and it doesn't jump around. But in business and economics, other types of applications, there's a lot of discontinuities. And as you can see, this one here, you know, we have a, it's continuous from here to right before we hit the half, but then it jumps up here and then, you know, we're at 500 and then it jumps back down to 350 and then jumps. And so it's very discontinuous throughout the whole graph. It's very uh, broken up here. Now for continuity, what is the definition? So a function f is continuous at the point x equals c, so whatever point we want to say, maybe nine hours, if the limit of f of x as x approaches c exists. Okay, well, if we want to go here, the limit from the left is equal to the limit from the right, and they both look to be about 45. F of C, does that exist? Well, F of 9, if we plug that in, we do get 45, so that exists. And the limb of F of X as X approaches C is basically F of C. And so that would be the case true here as well. So a function is continuous on the open interval A to B if it's continuous at each point on the interval. So it's from up zero here up to the 24 here. So it's the open interval. We can't include the endpoints because you can't, don't have the limit to the other side and you don't have a limit on this side. Now, if one or more of the three of these conditions in the definition fails, then the function is discontinuous at x equals c. Okay, And so that's, that's why we can't have uh, a continuity at this point because it doesn't continue on. And there's no continuity at this point because it doesn't continue on here. Now, all these, you know, we break because we have this huge disconnect here big disconnect here, and so the limit doesn't uh, exist, and basically we don't have this f of c existing either, so those don't equal what f of c is equal to. So that's that's kind of what we have there. Let's go to the next page. What the...
All right, so now I think we're back. All right, so rather than list points where a function is actually discontinuous, sometimes it's more useful to state the intervals on where the function is continuous. And then we use basically set uh, operation with unions denoted by the U. <clears throat> I'm sure everybody's used that before in classes. And then we express a set of points where the function is continuous. Note, we always use the parentheses to represent all points between X equals A and X equals B, but that don't include A and B. So. From here, if we go from the left, we're going from negative infinity all the way up to one, two, three, four, negative four, but we don't include four, and so we have that. And then union, now we start at negative four, and we go all the way up to, it looks like negative two, we don't include that, and then union, and then from negative two all the way up to one, and so that would be this part, and then from one up to, oh, what is that, three, and then from three on up to positive infinity. And so that's kind of the continuous region for the graph. And again, it's easier sometimes to do that than write all the discontinuous parts. So that's how we would do that one. All right, so let's pause there and we'll come back with some examples.